So here's my virtual infrastructure. I've got a VM called 2016 dash server that I want to export to an OVA file. The first thing I have to do if I want to use PowerCL or PowerShell is connect to the virtual center itself. Now it's throwing all that goggle big at me because I haven't um, expressed a preference for the CIEP so let's just fix that so it doesn't ask me again. Okay, so I'm connected to my vCenter server now. The first job that I want to do is remove any snapshots for the VM that I'm going to export to OVA. Now you can see in the background there that remove snapshot has started running on the vCenter server. For the sake of the video, I shall speed it up. So that's how our snapshots removed. Now the machine itself, 2016 server, needs to be powered down. Now as you can see, because there's a little tiny green triangle over the icon, it's currently running. So I'm just executing a command there, shut down VM guest, to shut the machine down. And you can see it's been fired off, but the, the machine will be gracefully shutting down in the background. That's why it's going to take a couple of minutes if I just click off it back on again. There you go, we can see that it's now been powered off. So jumping back into our command window. Now if you try and export a VM to an OVA file that has a CD or DVD image attached, it's got a habit of including that in the OVA file. So that command there just removed any attached ISO files, CDs, DVD. And now we're going to export using the export VAP command to OVA format to a folder on my D drive called Dexported. There it is, and you can see there's nothing in it at the minute. So I'm going to execute that command and it will take that VM, it will export it in OVA format and it will put it into that folder. Now depending on how big the VM is, depends on how long it will take. Now just a warning, if it's a massive VM, for instance I, I had a colleague who had a 12.5 terabyte VM, you may need to alter the environment variables for the temp and the TMP so that it's not pointing to C Windows temp. This is only quite a small VM so it doesn't affect us. And that's us successfully exported our OVA file and that's us done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at